Okay, so for this problem, you're given that the area of the pentagon, the regular pentagon is 440, and you're asked to find the area of the equilateral triangle. Well, uh, we know that uh, an equilateral triangle, we can find the area of using side squared root 3 over 4. You could also use 1 half AP if you would like on this problem. I'm going to do it using side squared root 3 over 4 because it's easy. Um, and then because it's a regular pentagon and a square and an equilateral triangle, these are the same. And so to find S, I need to find S for the regular pentagon. So um, to do that, I need to write an equation for the area. And for the area, if I let half the side length be X and then A be the apothem, the area of this regular pentagon is going to be one half the apothem times the perimeter, and the perimeter is going to be 10x. Well, um, that I know is going to equal 440. Now, the problem with this equation is I've got two variables, a and x. I don't need two variables. Um, I only need one. So I need to connect a and x together. Um, and to do that, um, I need to let this be 54 degrees. Um, and we know that's 54 degrees because in a regular pentagon, each angle is 108 degrees and the radius cuts it in half. So since I know that's 54 degrees, I can say the tangent of 54 equals A over X. And so A equals X tangent of 54. Now, when I make that substitution and get this, so instead of A right here, I substitute in X tangent 54. I go ahead and let this be 10x right here because it already is. Now I see that 1 half times 10 is 5. I've got an x squared and a tan of 54, right? The x squared came because I had an x here and an x here. x times x is x squared. That equals 440. So all I need to do is divide both sides by 5 tangent of 40 or 54, right? Divide by that, divide by that. Um, and then take the square root of that result. Now, one mistake I made earlier, I actually had to redo the video because I made this mistake, is I put in <laughs> 5 tangent 54 without parentheses. So it divided by 5 and then multiplied by tan 54 instead of dividing by 5 tan 54. And so make sure you do that correct. When you do that, you get x squared equals about 63.9357. Um, so you take the square root of that. And that gives you 7.9. Nine nine five nine eight two eight nine five. That's half the side length. We multiply that by two to get fifteen point nine nine one nine six. So that is equal to the side length. And then all I've got to do is substitute that back into my original formula. So square it, multiply times root three, and then divide it by four. I'm um, sorry, I messed it up. So times, it's going to be this 7.99598285 times 2 squared times the square root of 3. And then that divided by 4 gives me 110.7399, which is 110.74 is the correct answer.